Roper Whitney was founded in 1910 in Rockford, Illinois, and has grown and prospered by serving its customers with the highest quality products. 100 years later, that tradition of customer service and the dedication to produce quality products is alive and well. Roper Whitney had purchased the Pexto, Pexto and Wilcox Company out of Southington, Connecticut in 1976, helping them grow with power shears and other tools. In 1986, Roper Whitney had purchased the W. Whitney Stoop Company that made the Connecticut handbrakes that they still make out of Rockford, Illinois today. Roper Whitney was the first company to introduce the folding system to America and is now the only company in America making the auto brake in America with American parts and American labor. With the Roper Whitney Auto Brake, you can program offline. Enter a disc, a CD, or a USB to load in several jobs. The discs are provided free for all Auto Brake customers. The touchscreen controller is very easy to use. By simply turning the machine on and logging in, you can simply open the Titan file. This will allow you to see all the different files you have loaded already to modify any existing files or to call up a new job. Here we're simply adding a bed, adding a dimension, and choosing a hem. You can choose open hems, closed hems, or teardrop hems at the touch of a button. Change dimensions on your back gauge. Change your mind or Touch a button and change the direction of the piece. By pushing the reverse bend button, the computer will reverse the bend that you're currently working on. You can rotate the picture by pushing the rotate left or right buttons, located on the left middle section of the screen. To see the number of bends starting from zero, you can toggle the button on and off on the left hand side of the screen. To decide the order of the bends, you simply select the bending area on the chart marked by 1, 2, 3 in the order that you want and hit the green check button. It's that easy. And with a click of a few buttons, you're ready to call a program up, save it, and run the part. In the top left-hand corner, we'll actually see the cut size required from the shear, the number of operations, degree of angle for each bend, back gauge position, the percentage of clamping, the height of closed clamping. It also gives you instructions on whether to flip the part, paint it up, paint it down, turn end to end, so that simply one person can program the machine and a different operator can perform the operations. Current degree of angle, current back gauge depth. The directions are in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The operator simply loads the part clamps his piece and starts his bending. Since the machine programs the actual position of the material, the operator is prompted by the bottom right hand side of the screen. 
makes his parts quickly and uniformly. All the parts are consistent. Our bending leaf is made of solid steel and has a shorter footprint, allowing the operator to stand close and comfortably next to the machine for hours and hours. An optional heavy bend bar is available when using the maximum capacity of the auto brake. By simply unbolting the bend bar and flipping it upside down, you can create Z and short offset pieces very easily. And within a couple of minutes, you have your finished part in a fraction of the time it takes to bend on a hand brake. Creating a file. By simply touching the file button, you can either place programs into a file or open a program from a file. By simply touching the screen, a keyboard will open, allowing you to put in a name of a job, a specific name of a part, or even a job number. Alphanumeric parts are easily entered. Now they're saved. Several windows open to allow ease of programming for angle of bend and for your depth of back gauge. Here we see the operator doing four operations for his program. The operator loads his material, steps on the clamp pedal, and by stepping on the bend pedal, the bend leaf will come up to the desired angle bent and tell the operator when to flip the material end to end or flip the material over. And within a minute, you have your gravel stop. Changing a dimension, you can simply call up a part, change one or two dimensions, and rename the part. There's no need to redraw an entire part for similar gravel stops, drip edges, and many other common shapes. is easily done on the auto brake. As you can see the parts drawn on screen, by producing more bends to create that 90 degree part, the smoother the part will look. Radiuses can be formed two different ways. One, by setting the bend leaf to a required degree of bend. The clamp will open and close automatically and the back gauge will keep forwarding the material to the desired radius. By adjusting the lower knuckles on the left and right of the bending leaf, we can adjust for an infinite number of material and material thicknesses. And within a moment, a desired radius part is done. The second way to create radius is simply to choose the number of bends you like for a specific degree angle. The part will be drawn on screen and the bend leaf will come up each and every time to a specific bend. 
This is done with the variable speed drive, which allows consistent bending in radius work. The machine will shut off when the batch is completed. According to the material, you can preset the crowning feature, assuring perfectly straight parts. This is very critical in radius forming. A radius with 20 bends that's off by only half a degree would produce a canoe instead of a standard radius part. The crowning feature allows smooth, consistent parts, whether they be 36 inches or 120. Closed hem. You can simply add bends by touching a button. A calculator screen comes up allowing you to add dimensions. A screen will come up asking you for a closed hem, open hem, or teardrop hem. By simply touching the button, your hem is created. The operator simply inserts the material into the brake, follows the instructions on screen, stepping on the pedal to clamp, a pedal to bend, the return is automatic, and stepping on a pedal to release. Here's a nice example of a closed hem. Open hem. By touching a button, you simply add the commands you wish. In this case, by touching an open hem. You can enter your dimensions of how far you'd like the material into the brake, hit the green check marks, save your program and away you go. By inserting the material, stepping on the clamp pedal, the bend leaf will come up and bend your 146 degree bend, release, the operator puts the material back in, squashes again, in this case, for an open hem. The open hem can be as closed or open as you like. The operator will set that depth. Teardrop hem. You can program the machine to do open, closed, and teardrop hems very easily, as you see here on screen. You can save your operation, hit the green go button, the operator will load his material against the spring fingers, step on his clamp pedal, he steps on the bend pedal, the bend leaf will come up, bend his 146 degree bend, and automatically lift the head again. By stepping on the clamp head again, he now goes into the mode for a teardrop hem. The length of material on the teardrop can be regulated by the operator. Back gauge. The auto brake features three fingers, a spring finger, which can virtually be brought to the front of the nose bar of the machine, and two sets of fixed fingers that will pop up according to the program. There's no need for a back gauge to run full stroke, 40 inches, or the optional 61 inch back gauge. Within a couple of seconds, the dimension is reached and the machine is ready to load. On very large parts, or shops that require two men to be used on a brake, an optional second foot pedal for the safety of both men may be ordered. By moving the control to the rear side of the machine, a second foot pedal can be put there for rear loading of very large parts. The machine we chose for the demonstration on the CD you're now watching is a three-year-old Roper Whitney Auto Brake model AB1016T. No factory perfect brand new machines. A three-year-old machine, a real operator in a real shop showing you real parts. We hope you enjoy. The Roper Whitney Auto Brake. Made in the USA with US parts and US labor. A special thanks to Applied Roofing Systems Inc in Webster, Massachusetts.